So right here, we got the Tactic 2.0 now. Okay. I got some Hero 2.0 Purple Striker Mesh in this one. And just like my other heads, uh, we're going to start this on the third diamond. Well, third sidewall hole. So what we're going to do is go from the outside. Let me show you all focused. Yeah. From the outside in, up through the first 10 diamond row of mesh. Okay. And then we're going to loop it back around. Same hole, same mesh, diamond. See that? It's just going to pull tight. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Yeah. So on this one, we're not going to do it so, so tight, but we're going to skip one sidewall hole. We're going to come down to this one right here. Okay. So let's imitate that, shall we? With an SI, of course. Nate, you just love your SIs. Yeah, I know. Because they're, they're simple, easy to use, and they would just work. So you see what I just did there? From the back to the front of the next 10 diamond mesh row. Okay. Now with this long piece of string, outside, in through the head. Okay, you can loop it, but don't pull it all the way. Okay, and you want to go in between the string and between the mesh. Okay. It'll all come together. You pull that tight. Okay. We're going to do that again. Okay, we're going to skip one more diamond right here. We're going to skip this bad boy. And we're going to come down to this one. Okay, so come back back to the front of the mesh. Through that, this sidewall hole right here. Outside in, loop it. You pull that through the back of the mesh. Front to the back. Pull that tight. Okay, so we got that down. That's three. <clears throat> three mesh diamonds, one, two, three. We got seven more. I'm going to do this one more time. The SI down through the back of the mesh to the front. Okay. Make sure we do that. We're going to skip. Yep, we're going to skip one. We're going to come down to this one right here. Okay. Skip this one. Go through this one right here. Okay. Outside in. Pull it through the same mesh diamond. Pull it. <clears throat> Solid, right there. And now, we're going to do a 1SI, okay? 1SI is super simple, just like an SI. You just add a 1, and the way that you do that is I like to go from the uh, front to the back of the mesh. Okay, just pull that. You cinch it up a little bit, get it going. And then down from the back to the front of the next 10 diamond row of mesh. So you see what I just did there? To the front, to the back, back to the front. And are we skipping? Yes, we are skipping. We are skipping this sidewall hole right here and coming down to this one. From the outside in, pull it. So don't go through the one right here, but go through the, the, um, the second mesh diamond that we went through from the back to the front pull that tight and then we're going to do that again yep and we're also going to skip another sidewall hole so if you missed that one we got one for you here right here we got a one from the front to the back you cinch it a little bit and then this one right here and back to the front of the mesh. Back to the front. Just like that. I'm going to skip this sidewall hole right here. I'm going to come down to this one right here. From the outside in. Pull it. There we go. And then up back through the front to the back of the mesh. It'll all come together. When you pull that tight, the pocket is starting to form. <clears throat> okay. Now we just have another SI. Okay, and we're also going to skip one. Back to the front of the mesh. Skip one. 
out to the inside of the mesh. I'm sorry, the sidewall. And then up from the front to the back of the mesh. Right? Pretty simple, nothing crazy. And then we're just going to go down through this 10 diamond row right here. This is our last one from the back to the front. And then you can tie it off. So what I did here was, um, so I skipped two. So I'll show you a little, little trick I do sometimes here. This is a little bonus, so you're lucky. We got, so after you, you would tie it off here normally, right? So I'll just, I'll go back through. So the last, the last diamond hole right here, I'll go back from the back to the front. Okay. So it looks something like that. Okay. So what you can do here is you can mix. If you don't have or you don't want to cut another piece of string, you can add the bottom string as part of the sidewall. Okay. So this could help out with face-offs, you know, uh, getting extra strings, um, you know, attached to the face-off head could be, that. I mean, could be worse. It's helpful to do it like this sometimes, regardless. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is what I did on the white. Went from the, so since you're inside here, right? Yep. You're going to go down this first bottom string hole since there's four of them. There's four of them there, right? Go down and then come out the outside, right? And then you wrap it around. I got it on the nine diamond row. So this first nine diamond row right here. Pull that through. And you can see that right here. See the string. So it went in, out, down, up. So this nine diamond row right here. See, this is the ten diamond row, the last one that we did. This is the nine diamond. And then what you can do is... Um, so we're going to skip one, two, three, and then go through the same nine diamond row that the other string was on. So it kind of looks something like that. So what you're going to have is I wrapped it. <clears throat> you're going to go on the second bottom string hole on the other side of the head, go down. Okay. So it's going to cross, cross those strings right there. You know, it's all for aesthetics, but it, it works, you know. And I just I just loop it off. Loop it, add some string, you know, just in case. You never know. So when you tie it tight, you know, you got the pocket right there, right? <clears throat> so you just tie it off. You can tie this off any way you want, really. If I can get it to go. There we go. And you know, this... This part of the head, it really, uh, it really matters how tight how tight you tighten it, because the bottom string has a lot of effect on how deep the pocket will be at the end. Should look something like that, and uh, that's the pocket right there. You know, that's the channel right here. I think that's pretty solid. It's good. You know, it's good. It's not too tight, not too, uh, not too loose either. That's a good, nice solid consistent release you know the tactic i really like it i'm a two-way midi when i was playing in college and in high school so um this is a great great pocket try it out let me know what you think i'll see you in the next one peace